there are two groups of people who are involved. One is a small group of people, relatively small group of people, who are um, really about such things as Hong Kong independence, etc. There's no, there's no argument that can be held with them. Um, they want a quite determined and they exploit their situation, so they will have to be dealt with, frankly, subject to the process of the law. Uh, and then there are people who are confused and have a number of legitimate grievances, etc. For example, in inequality in Hong Kong is rather high, very high in fact. Um, and therefore these are matters that the government's got to look to. I mean, if you look at the situation before, what mo most people are not interested, frankly, in the question of um, you know, abstract democracy. The idea that this is all about is nonsense. Never forget, m most people are more interested in the back sports pages of newspapers than they are in the front political parts of the newspapers. Um, so therefore, the, what you have is you have obviously some some discontent which is created by some material conditions there and the government has to do that. So the main, the strategic goal is to uh, separate the people who are just out to cause trouble for, for goals which are quite other than those which they actually became from the number of people who have become confused in the situation. That's the strategic thing. I think that the um, population will understand that the, this is doing great damage to Hong Kong, uh, it was the economy, but there was no future for them outside China. No, nobody outside China is going to propose uh, independence of Hong Kong. This is just led by a few people who are just great trouble, uh, apart from some people in Taiwan. I mean, to the, even the United States or Britain is not going to try, seriously propose to support the independence of Hong Kong, so therefore the government will slowly proceed to separate out the people who've got their own different political agenda from dealing with what may be some real grievances of people which are not really connected to these issues and certainly not connected to independence of Hong Kong. Um, and that most of those people will just want to get back to leading a normal life.